Hi, my name is Rafrance Davis, and in a matter of two minutes or so, I'm going to tell you how I teach students how to graph linear equations using real-world concepts. It always starts with a story that I make up as I go. No idea what's going to come out when I do it. It just does. So for this one, I'll say that I'm an app developer. So in my app developing job, you have to pay me $50 just for showing up, and every hour that I build your app, you pay me an additional $100. I tell this to the students, they go with that right away. So we talk about, just for showing up, my show up costs. At the beginning, what do you have to pay me? And I stress the beginning for a reason. And so they know that that's $50. And then for each hour thereafter, you're paying me at a rate of, and I make sure to throw in those words, at a rate of an additional $100 because I don't want them to just think M and slope. I really want them to connect with slope being a rate of change. That is important. Then from there, so we build the table, we mark what's changing on the Y's and what's changing in the X's on the table. Sort of like, I have kind of an example here. We go ahead and do like the differences. I don't know if you can see it. So we mark it just like this is so. That's kind of a different problem, but you get the gist of it. So once we have done that, we go ahead and create the graph. Now, once when we create the graph, we talk about scale. We talk about independent and dependent variables, what the variables were, which I should have said we do that with the table as well. We go ahead and make the graph. We mark where the change is happening, the change in y and x on the graph. So now the students have marked the rate of change on the table, the rate of change on the graph. We also mark what the y-intercept is in the table, what the y-intercept is on the graph. We call it the beginning. We call it the consultation fee, the setup cost, the place where you're going to start before you start increasing. Once we've done that, we connect it to what the equation would be. And you'd be surprised how simple that is once they do that. And then what, how would I identify that in a verbal description? The next step beyond that is the students come back with their own problems that they found in the community around them from like the health club or the movie theater, whatever the case may be. It really is about getting them to take the story you made up and connecting it to something bigger that they have done themselves based on the same idea in multiple representations.